What's up YouTube? Time for an in the bag update video. I have a couple new molds in here. I've eliminated some stuff. I have multiples of some stuff that I've been carrying for a while. And I uh, figured I'd just do an in the bag. I always like to do an in the bag video. Uh, you know, it's always pretty fun to uh, geek out and talk about my plastic a little bit. Seem, people seem to like in the bag videos quite a bit, myself included. So I might as well uh, do another update for myself here. Just making sure everything's set up. Alright, cool. Alright, so, uh, I got three Envies in the putter pocket, I got one Neutron, two uh, soft Neutrons, um, this Neutron one here, it's 171, and it's pretty stable, so I can throw this one as hard as I want to, it will not flip over, uh, I'll use it for my headwind putts, um, headwind approaches, it does a pretty good job, it's not crazy overstable, but it's really plenty stable for a putter, um, I carried the Harp for a while, but this thing can pretty much cover most of the same shots. It's not quite as overstable, um, but you know, I kind of would rather just eliminate molds when possible. I may carry the harp, soft harp that I have on, a, on a, if I know I'm going out on a windy day, but for the most part this thing gets the job done. Great hyzer uh, putter off the tee as well. There's that. My two uh, favorites are these two soft enemies. These ones, I think this one's 167, 165, uh, so they're not max weight. They're still great putters though. I've been mostly putting with this one um, inside the circle. I'll also throw this one for uh, approaches and stuff. I don't really worry about beating it up too much because it's, you know, this uh, Neutron, you know, the, like for the most part, uh, MVP putters just, it, it takes some serious abuse to get them to, to, to break in and uh, it really changed the way they fly very much. And since it's a putter, I don't really care if it gets beaten in, uh, and it'll just be probably hold a little straighter. And if I need to switch out into a fresh one at some point, I can do that. This one I carry, they're very similar. This one's maybe a hair more stable. The softs in general have a more turn, a little bit more flip up and ride than the, the regular Neutron. Um, but they're workhorse discs for short range, um, relatively interchangeable within the circle. Again, this one may be a little bit more stable, but I love these things. Probably my favorite. Uh, overall mold in the world right now is the Envy. Ever since it came out, I've been really happy with it. Um, so yeah, main putter. Envy, let's move on. Um, still got magnets in the bag. Always got to have a couple magnets, soft magnets. No secret here. This one I've had forever. It's super beat up. Extremely warped. You can see how warped and jacked up this thing is. Uh, very flippy. Obviously, I can throw it. Um, if I want to try to like take a run at the basket, um, from, you know, somewhat out, you know, definitely outside the circle. I'll just throw this thing straight at it. It very rarely goes too far past it. And every once in a while, I'll throw one in from, from a nice distance with this disc. Also, so flippy, I can throw it down on a hyzer angle. As long as I snap it, it'll always flip up, turn over, and hold it. So that's nice to kind of work some of those lines. Um, also just, you know, super, uh, not consistent, but super um, versatile in the fact that I can, you know, get it to flip really easy and throw nice straight shots, sneak through some trees and stuff. Great, great overall disc. This one is like 168 or so. This is my driving magnet for the for the time being. Very straight, um, almost no fade on it. Although it doesn't, it also doesn't flip over too much. You know, I'll, I'll hyzer flip this thing very straight. It'll generally ride, come back a little bit. Uh, if I get it popped up just right, it'll just go dead straight down the line. I like this one a lot. I got a, uh, you know, a bunch of birdies with it on the last. Uh, whenever I'm playing a short course, I'm throwing that thing a lot. And then final putter in the bag right now is my soft proxy. This is a beautiful disc. Um, I love the just pure day glow look of this one. Um, this one is what 168 grams. Uh, it's got a little bit of a dome to it. This one feels great in the hand, and it's just dead straight. I love this thing off the tee for just if I want to throw an envy, but I want something that'll hold straighter longer uh, with less fade. The proxy is perfect for that. It's a it's a great like kind of straight uh, straight to understable complement to the envies. So I like having this one in the bag. It's also a solid putter. Every once in a while, I might use it for a putt. Same with this one. Every once in a while, I might use this for a longer putt outside the circle and, you know, stretch out the distance a little bit because they don't fade quite as much as the Envy's. Uh, Mid-ranges. Still got the G-Star Wombat. Very flippy. Um, tons of glide. Great tailwind disc. Most of my turnover shots, I'm throwing this disc. 
Uh, it's kind of similar to uh, this real beat up magnet, but at mid-range mid distances. It kind of flies like a soft magnet, but just farther. Um, they're flippy, but you can still hyzer flip them up, you know, flat, and just get them to carry extremely straight with almost no fade. Probably one of the straightest flying discs I've ever thrown. Uh, probably one of my top choices for Innova brand if I was going to recommend a disc for a beginner. This thing just flies great. Um, Wombats are nice. Tons of glide. Tailwind disc as well. Um, let's see here. I'm also testing out, this one's not established in the bag. It is a misprint. It's a theory. It's got the alias, uh, or, yeah, alias stamp on it, but it's actually a theory. Uh, 178. Kind of like meteor type, uh, profile to it. This thing is extremely straight. I was actually hoping it was going to be, uh, more understable, but it's really just dead straight, laser beam straight, start to finish, which is nice. Uh, I've been enjoying it. It's working for certain situations, uh, especially in the woods, tunnel shots and stuff. Throw a little hyzer, it'll pop up, and just perfectly straight down the line. It's a really uh, nice, nice flyer. I like that disc. Might do a review on it eventually, we'll see, as I get a little bit more con uh, confident in it. And then we got a couple of uh, Clips Axis. This pink one's relatively new. Um, it's just I'm just kind of breaking in and seeing if it's a little bit, you know, more stable than this one. This one I've had forever. One of my favorite discs. Great mid-range, just dead straight. Um, with just a little bit of fade at the end, it'll hold, it'll hold like a, a mid-range hyzer quite nicely. Gets great distance for a mid-range, and it's uh, very, uh, very trustworthy. I, I generally know what it's going to do. Um, good disc. So yeah, I'm just kind of working that pink one in. Just to uh, see see if it's a little bit more stable. I haven't thrown it all that much yet. Uh, let's move on to some drivers. I put the uh, Old Faithful Flex Surge SS back in the bag. All oh, both of my axes are, are max weight, by the way. Uh, put the Old Faithful Flex Surge SS back in the bag. I believe this one's around 168 or 165. Um, Pretty understable disc. I like it for turnovers. Um, it used to work really great for me for that for, for many years. And uh, so I just kind of went back to it. It's a great turnover disc. Also uh, kind of tailwind disc. And if I just want to throw a kind of a finesse hyzer flip that'll go straight, uh, this disc works great for that. But mostly carrying it for tailwinds, or uh, turnovers rather. My go-to tailwind disc, and just times where I really need to just Throw some down, a little hyzer, let it pop up and do the work. Don't put very much energy onto the throw. This jade works really nicely. What's the weight on this guy? I don't even know. 152. Um, glides for days. This one is definitely more stable than typical, I would say. My buddy has a jade that looks almost identical. It doesn't have the metal flakes in it, though. And it's like night and day different between this. This one is way straighter, more straight stable. The one he has is extremely understable. So it's hard to say um, what your chain will fly like if you buy one. But this one's got a little bit of a pop top on it. And the uh, with the metal flake in it, just dead straight all the way. Great disc for just times where I feel like my arm's a little weak. Uh, or I just need to kind of power down and make sure something holds straight and stays in the middle of the fairway. It's a great disc for that. Alrighty, moving on. Not much in the way of molds left, but I got some, some stuff to show you still. Still got two proton inertias in the bag. Love these things. These have become kind of like my understable straight flying distance discs. Uh, this particular one here is like 153 or something like that. I forget. I really wish... 162. Yeah, I've actually been getting to the point now where I'm writing the weights on them myself because they just put the little sticker on there that generally falls off. Uh, 162 for this one, 165 for this one. They're uh, actually not all that interchangeable. This one is, seems to be significantly more understable than this one. Um, so if I want to throw an inertia, but I want a little, I want to put a little bit more heat on it, look for a little bit more uh, fade. This one is what I'll throw. This is probably the one I throw most often though for just laser beam, uh, dead straight distance throws. Uh, great disc. Sometimes if I'm throwing strong, these get a little flippy for me. I have a little bit of uh, trouble controlling them, which is why I've been throwing a lot of trespasses lately. I've had a trespass in the bag for a long time. I've had this one pretty much since they were released. Since DD started making discs, they put out the trespass. I got this thing very early on. Um, 
still probably my go-to driver right now. This thing is amazing. It's a 170. Um, just ultra consistent, really nicely stable, always finishes back to the left. Uh, unless it's a crazy headwind, but it's just really straight, lots of glide, great distance capability. Um, you, you know, for straight shots that finish left, or uh, kind of like flex shots where it'll ride out and come back, or strong hyzers, the trespasses are just beautiful workhorse distance discs. So there's one, probably my go to. Um, and I have them in pretty much all the other plastic types except for hybrid right now. So I got this one the other day, it's 167, just another like mostly opaque lucid, a little bit dome top, haven't thrown it much lately, but it seems about the same as my other ones. Um, I have an Air that I just got the other day as well. Um, this thing seems to be really straight all the way, that's 154, so it's real straight flyer. Um, with good good glide and distance, but still finishes back to the left at the end. So I'm liking this thing quite a bit. I think this is going to be a real a real solid disc for me out there. Um, I got a Biofusion one, um, maybe a little bit less uh, a little bit less stable than the uh, the Lucids, but they're all relatively similar to my for, you know as far as I'm concerned. 172 on this one, good good flyer. Then I have this Max Weight Fusion, um, no stamp on it anymore. This one's, yeah, 174 Fusion. This one's a great flyer as well. Actually, probably has a little bit more flip um, than some of my uh, Lucids, but it still comes back. It's still very, very trustworthy and consistent. Um, I actually really like this thing. I generally don't really like uh, max weight stuff. I got this thing thinking it might be um, more stable than my Lucids, but it's really not. Uh, it's a very uh, straight, stable... Uh, distance disc with that nice finish at the end. So I'm loving the Trespass. I got a ton of those. I got a Moonshine as well, and I got at least one other Lucid one laying around for backups. And then last but not least, we got the McCabe Enforcer. Just put this in the bag recently just because I'm noticing the Trespasses don't handle the headwind as well as I would like to or as well as they used to uh, when I wasn't throwing quite as hard. Um, this thing I could rip into a headwind, no issues. Also, if I just really want something that's overstable, but I still need to get it out there a little bit, the, the Enforcer is a great option. Um, I used to have the Felon in the bag, which was nicely overstable, but I just couldn't get any distance out of it with my arm speed, my throwing style. The Enforcer does a much better job. Also, I can, you know, rip it on Nanheiser, it'll come back and stretch out some distance that way. Really great, uh, trustworthy disc, but basically... Um, if I want to throw my trespass, but there's a headwind, that's what I have this disc for. So that is my in the bag. I don't think I have anything else to show you guys in this particular uh, video. Maybe I'll do one of those like what else is in the bag videos one of these days. Those are kind of embarrassing. I haven't done one for this new system. I did one a long time ago. So I might do something like that. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hello? Hello? Are you still there? What are you still doing here? I thought I was done. I was rambling about all my plastic here. I thought I thought you guys all took off. Are you still sitting there? I'm putting my discs back in my bag here. Let's see if I can get my... It's weird. They don't fit for some reason. Why don't these fit? Oh! There's a Gateway Chief in here. Where'd this come from? I don't know. I think... I think you got uh, sent to me by the Disc King. Right? Tested it. Good straight flyer. You ever check out one of these? Gateway Chief? It's a pretty cool disc. No? You want to try this one? Okay. Um, just like this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, 
and write a comment down below telling us what your go-to disc is. Maybe, uh, maybe you'll get a chief in the mail.